I'm here at Ashby Engineering in Abingdon, a company that has invested over a million pounds in the last year in new technology, like this machine here from White House Machine Tools, this Belia twin spindle, twin turret, twin Y-axis machine. Two really good features that sold them this machine include the fact that you've got an offset uh, capability on the second spindle, meaning the machine is far more flexible in getting things like three tools in cut. But in addition to that, it's the parts ejection system and the fact that the remnant goes out of the back of the machine and the parts that are finished are ejected very safely and securely, maintaining great surface finishes and meaning you don't damage the part. I'm going to talk with the operator uh, here in more detail about what he thinks about this machine. Paul, brand new Belia. Uh, turning yes. centre here right. installed at Ashby Engineering. You really like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, great machine. Okay, for the, for those that don't know, can you maybe just talk talk to us about the, the capability of the machine and, and how it's built? Well, it's a 65 um, uh, millimetre capacity machine, um, uh, two Y axes, um, plus 40, minus 50 on both upper and lower turrets. It's a high pressure coolant through both turrets, um, uh, B axes that goes up and down. Um, which aids with the clearance within the turning processes. OK, that's one of the big features here, isn't it? That, that second spindle. Yes. That's what we're saying, that moves up and down. It's not a stationary spindle. No, no it, it moves up and down, hard stops up and hard stop down. Now, is this a production machine for you? Oh, are, yes, you are you doing long-running jobs? We purchased it mainly because we want to run a lot of lights-out work on it. Right, OK. Now, what does that, that second spindle that does offset enable you to achieve then, different to what you might be able to get on other machines? Well, first of all, the lower turret doesn't need to traverse quite so far to, to start machining the components because the B will come forward and we work in a quite a small envelope, as you'll probably see when it's running. OK, does it give you more flexibility as well, though, in be able, being able to move the positioning sort of up, up and down so you can do things like superimpose machining, have yes. three tools yes, maybe you can. Yes, you can do that. And, and have you had? Have you utilised that? Well, I've not done any uh, superimposed machining on this machine at, at this present time, but I'm sure it's going to come in the future <laughs> at some time. Yeah. What about once the part's made and you're trying to get it off the machine? Mm -hmm. What's different about the Belia in that area? Oh, because the, jump, uh, the most of the parts we're going to produce are brass, we don't want them to be damaged as they come out. So we thought this parts catching uh, system on here was just right up our street, really, for what we required. So how does it work? How does it work? Well, the, uh, the parts catcher is hidden in this area here. The door will open and the, and the catcher will come forward to a midpoint between the two turrets. It will then open the chuck, push the part out with a, uh, a pneumatic ejector whilst it's washing at the same time as well. The part will then be brought back out, swing back up, brought back out to this conveyor here, dropped quite gently, in fact, and out of the machine on this secondary conveyor here. So for you then, the main advantage of that is the fact that if you've got parts that you don't want to, or you have concerns about their surface finish, finish. you want to remove them gently, yeah. you can do that really well here. Oh yes, this you? is absolutely perfect for it. That was one of the main points we liked about it when we saw it. And with a machine like this being in, in the production environment, how many hours a week is it machining? Well, we, we think it's, well, we know it's doing over 100 hours a week. And what are the main aspects that you're looking to achieve with it? Is it down to the, the tolerances of the parts? Is it down to getting them off the machine as quick as possible? Where are the key areas for Ashby Engineering? Well, we're not really too concerned. Well, we are concerned about the cycle time, but it's the quality of the part we're really looking at. No damage and just keep on running. If you had to highlight, let's say, four or five areas that you were really impressed with personally as an operator, what would you say about this Belia machine? Well, first of all, as we've gone over the parts catcher, was one of the biggest things that we, we, we liked about it. Um, another thing I know it's, some people don't really go with this, but I really like the way it washes the collet out with high pressure coolant, or you can have air at the same time, both, but you can't have both together, of course, either one or the other, but it, it does wash the, coolant, the spindle out. When you're running brass, it's quite important to get the, coolant, uh, the, the collet clean. Um, we liked the fact that you can, um, measure tools in cycle as well. Drop the arm down and recheck a tool in cycle. That's another feature we liked about it. How do you go about creating the programs for your parts? How do you go about getting the best out of the technology that's here? Well, we use our um, CAM system uh, in the office from time to time on it. Um, and we, we sometimes go through it on there. Um, but a lot of the time, it's just down to the operator of the programmer, really. 
watching the job, see whether we can make uh, changes to um, improve the cycle times. Now I know that you've got two Y-axis on the machine as well, so, so how does that impact on how you're making components? Where do you gain there? Well, it, it, the benefit is when you're programming the component, uh, it's a lot easier to work when you're not governed by just one turret with a Y-axis. You can then think a little bit more out of the box, really, how you machine these parts, really. Um, so you can, it's a lot more flexible, put it that way. And when you're looking at the finished parts that you get off here, if you are doing long runs, how does the first part compare to the last part when it comes to its, its tolerance, its surface finish? No change. Not what we found so far, no change whatsoever. The first and the last part have been just the same.